Hi, welcome to MRP Easy. In this video, we will walk you through some of the main use flows in MRP Easy. MRP Easy seamlessly integrates sales, procurement, and production, along with supporting functions like inventory management, materials planning, production scheduling, shop floor reporting, and others. To get started, let's imagine that we have a company that makes tables. These may be standard products, configurable, or even complex and completely bespoke designs. However, this example would not be very different if we sold cheese, beauty products, or pharmaceuticals. Now to walk through an order fulfillment process from start to finish, let's imagine a customer asks for a quote for a number of tables. We start a new customer order in the CRM module and fill in the details. If we have a fixed price list, the selling price will be automatically populated. Alternatively, we can have the software tell us the estimated costs and a sales price based on our desired markup and the shipping date according to the current stock, production schedule, and material lead times. Once the order is confirmed by the customer, we must book the available products from our stock or schedule the production. If we already had the products in stock, we could just take them from there. However, since we currently have no available stock, we have two general options. We could raise demand for the products so the production planner could see it, or we can let the software automatically schedule the manufacturing orders for us, which we will choose to do in this case. In the production schedule calendar and Gantt charts, we see that the operations for manufacturing these products are scheduled to start in a week which is due to the lead time of materials. Here you can also drag and drop planned manufacturing orders around to reschedule them. In the procurement section of MRP Easy, the reports show you exactly how many materials are required, when, and where. For example, we will use the requirements report to create purchase orders for missing quantities. The software knows the prices, vendors, and lead times already because what we call purchase terms have already been entered for each item. To skip ahead in time, let's mark the purchased goods already received. If we jump quickly into stock, we will see that we have all the necessary materials on hand and we can see we are expecting the tables into stock. And at the same time, we can also see that they are booked in other words, reserved, already for the customer. Now we should start and finish our production, which can be reported in real time in the My Production Plan or Internet Kiosk. Using the My Production Plan, which is a reporting interface more suitable for a tablet or a desktop, we can report several things. Firstly, the start and finish of each operation, as well as the quantity of produced goods. Secondly, the quantity of materials consumed. And finally, we can complete the manufacturing order. As an alternative reporting interface, we have a simplified view called the Internet Kiosk that is more suitable for smartphones or tablets on the shop floor. Now that the manufacturing order is complete, we are prepared to finalize the customer order. In the Customer Order Details view, we create the invoice for the customer. Once it is paid, we can also enter the payment. In the Customer Order Details view, here we will also prepare the shipment. Finally, once the goods are picked from stock, the customer order is fulfilled. As the previous order fulfillment flow jumped over the starting point of a make-to-stock process where manufacturing happens before sales, let's walk through this as well. To create a manufacturing order for making a product, you should go to Production Planning, Manufacturing Orders, and press the plus button. Here, enter your planned quantity, plan the dates, and save it to put it on the schedule. As a result, three things happen. First, Time from your workstation's calendar is reserved for this task.
Second, the demand for materials will be seen in the shortages and purchasing reports. And third, the product will now be expected to arrive into stock on the finish date of the manufacturing order. When customer orders start coming in, the products will be booked through stock. As one method to streamline production planning, you can utilize the stock critical on hand report. Once you have set the reorder point for end products, and when inventory levels dip below this threshold, production planners can instantly generate manufacturing orders directly from this report. For making detailed middle to long-term plans, use the Master Production Schedule functionality, which is available in the Enterprise Edition. Here you can input your sales forecast and generate your production plan, and you will instantly see the projected inventory levels for each planning period. You can also plan workstation capacities and see a timeline of purchasing requirements for creating a purchasing plan. Once you are happy with the plan, start creating purchase orders and scheduling manufacturing orders. Here we conclude our short tour on the basic workflows inside MRP Easy. We now encourage you to start exploring the system on your own. When you are ready, check our other videos, for example on production planning, setting up the system, additional features, and so on. We wish you happy MRP Easy-ing, and thanks for watching.